Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and we're going to look at skewness, but we're going to look at it in the context of the relationship or the location of the mean, median, and mode. So when we have a symmetrical distribution, right, that we know that we have the center of our distribution, and the mean, median, and the mode are the exact same value. In other words, when I look at this um, distribution, I know that at this point, the mean is equal to the median is equal to the mode. And so I can make this assumption that 50% of my data falls to the right of the mean, 50% of my data falls to the left. And I would know that even without seeing my curve by knowing that these three values are exactly the same. But what happens when we have extremely low values that understate the mean or extremely high values that overstate the mean? Well, in these cases where we have extremely low values that make the mean much smaller than it probably should be, we end up with what we refer to as a left skewed distribution. Remember that we determine the direction of the skew by this elongated tail. And in this case, the elongated tail is on the left side of the distribution. So what happens is we will still have the mode here. We'll still have a median here. But now I have the mean down here. So what's happened is everything used to be all together, but this low value of the mean has pushed all of the data to the left, loading up this left-hand tail. So when the mean is less than the median, we automatically know we have a left skewed distribution. So what happens when we have extremely large values that make the mean uh, value higher than it probably should be is we end up with a distribution that is skewed to the right. Remember reading the elongated tail as the direction of the skew. So at some point um, our mean, median, and mode were all the same. We had this extremely high value and so it took and it shifted the median here, and it pushed the mean somewhere up here. And so now the mean is now greater than the median. Everything moved to the right. And so we know in those cases where we have a value of the mean that is greater than the median, we end up with this right skewed distribution. So even if we don't have a visual representation of our distribution, if I can find the value for the mean and the median, and I know that the mean is less than the median, the mean is less than the median, then look at the direction that that's pointing, and we have this left or negative skew. When I look at the value of the mean, and it is greater than the median, then I know I have a positive or a right skew. When the mean is equal to the median, I have no skew, and I have that nice symmetrical bell-shaped curve. As always, I hope you found this video useful, and thanks so much for watching.